Well, really, Mr. President, sounds to me like more of the same class warfare. Is this really the president's economic solution? Or, I ask, is he just playing campaign trail politics? So let's talk. We welcome House members Robert Andrews, Democrat from New Jersey, and Aaron Schock, Republican from Illinois. Uh, Rob Andrews, it's been a while. Thank you for coming back. The thing it's that always I find, good to be with you. Good to be with you, Larry. All right, Rob. The thing I find breathtaking, and you're, you know, you're what I call a sensible Democrat. You're a pro-business guy. How can you have a one and a half trillion dollar tax hike? Quite apart from the millionaire surtax, this plan has one and a half trillion dollars in taxes, given the economic situation we're in. Rob, how's it possible? You know, it won't. Pay pass. Look, I think it can pass because lower deficits generate capital formation, which generates jobs. The president's put forward a plan that's about two-thirds spending cuts, about one-third revenue increases. I think it's the right formula. And Larry, I think that when you have stable financial situation, lower deficits, you get jobs. Aaron Schock, what are the odds that this kind of tax hike could pass the House of Representatives? Zero. Larry, this is politics. Let's review the history. Uh, the president was elected with an all-time popularity uh, a level uh, of popularity when he first came to president, shortly, shor shortly after he was sworn into office. He had a 60-seat majority in the Senate. He had an 80-seat in the House. Uh, he was a rock star president, and he had campaigned on a tax increase, and he, com he, he proposed that tax increase his first year in office, and, Larry, he couldn't get a Democrat House and a Democrat Senate to pass his tax increase. Now, uh, just, just uh, December of last year, you know that he voted to keep tax rates the way they are currently because, in his words, he said raising taxes on any American in this down economy would be bad policy. Well, he was right then, and he's wrong today. The economy has gotten worse. Unemployment continues to climb. And to come out with a straight face and say his solution to our economic woes is to raise taxes and to create uh, class warfare is disingenuous at best. Well, Congressman Andrews, you heard what uh, Congressman Schock has said. How do you respond to that? Because to me, I think he's accurate on the politics and the overall political situation. How do you possibly oh. believe the president gets what he wants here? Because I think a majority of Americans understand that borrowing 40% uh, of our budget every year from the Chinese and others is irrational and foolish. And the president's proposed a plan that cuts that deficit on its face by about 40%. He said two-thirds should come from spending cuts and about a third should come from uh, revenue increases on the wealthiest. And I would say to Aaron, my friend Aaron, and other Republicans, if they want to cut the deficit by a similar number, how would they do it? What's their alternative? Aaron? Well, that's a real simple solution. Rob knows the answer to that. He had the chance to vote on the House passed budget. We didn't just give a speech. We didn't just give rhetoric. We gave it in black and white in a budget, uh, something that the Democratic Congress failed to do last year, the first time since 1974, they failed to pass a budget. And, Larry, the House Republicans came in and said, we're not going to just pass a budget. We're going to do it with responsible uh, tax reform, but also entitlement reform, and the budget that passed the House this year passed with you know, more Larry, votes than any budget has passed the Congress in the last decade. The Senate, Larry, however, I, I, has refused to pass their own budget and did right. vote on the President's budget, Larry, 97 no's to zero yeses. Right. And that is a failure Larry, if of if presidential I, if leadership. If I might, uh, let's bring if I, might I, I, I think we should give... Uh, my friend credit. He is very, I think, truthfully and candidly stated the Republican position. But let's look at the consequences of that position. That Republican budget would have done away with Medicare as we know it for people 55 and under. It would have cut Pell Grant's college scholarships by 800, maybe $900 a year. It would have ravished uh, investment in the NIH for cancer research, Alzheimer's research. That's the trade-off. We think that's a bad trade-off. I, right. I know my friend disagrees. You I, probably do, too. I'm just flat we out think of the time. American people with, agree with us. I'm sorry, Jim. And I, with all respect, I'm flat out of time. Congressman Aaron Schock, thank you. Thanks a lot. Congressman Rob Andrews, thank you. Good to be with I'm you. I'm Larry Kudlow. We will be back tomorrow evening. We've got the Greek foreign minister to talk about his financial plan and the lack thereof.